Hello there, this is Dave Allen with the Gold for No Stylus and today we're going to have a look at making a caricature. This is a selfie I took of myself and I've got it in the application iColorama. And I just got that by going up to the photo up in the top left hand corner there and selecting one of the photos from my photo roll. And the first thing I did was to go to the crop which is part of the form menu and I'm going to say that's okay, I'm going to click on apply. So there we go, that's what I'm going to start with. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Warp. And with Warp I can start moving things around. So let's just see what we can do to uh, move things around and start making it look a little bit like a uh, caricature. So I'm going to make the uh, neck a little bit uh, thinner there. So let's uh, make it look a little bit funny. Move that all the way down there. And I'm using the uh, Warp tool there just with my Apple Pencil and just uh, bringing my shoulders down there to make it all thinner and everything down there as well. And then what I'll do is I'm going to move the uh, side out there, my ears a little bit bigger, and even bigger again. I'm just going to get the uh, very basics of the shape sort of uh, just the way I want it there. So make the, uh, the cap look a bit smaller as well. So I'm going a bit of a sort of a, a diamond sort of shaped face on this one here, and just going to bring that in there. So. That's looking a little bit funnier now, isn't it? That's what we want out of a caricature, isn't it? So this is our basic shape for the caricature. And it's not looking too bad, is it? So that'll do. I'm going to click on Apply. Now the next thing I'm going to go to do now is I'm going to go to the Style menu. I'm going to go to Coherence. And I'm going to give it a bit of a style there. So I'm going to go to the number two on that one there. Of coherence and I click on multiply so we've got some extra color in there as well to make it look a bit more colorful which is uh, all to the good so that's great and everything's looking just kind of a spot on there and I'm going to do a little bit more cleaning up on this um, picture in another application so what I need to do now is I need to click on apply there to get that applied to it okay so this is the image that I just made there in the uh, iColorama application and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just give it a bit more sort of uh, tweaking. So I want to do is going to go to uh, Distort and I'm going to choose the Warp tool. So now what I can do with this here is I can uh, make the ears a little bit bigger. Because big ears are always funny, aren't they? So give myself some nice uh, Prince Charles ears. So bring those out. Make them a little bit bigger. Which is okay for a character. You only want one person in there, don't you? So just um, changing the shape there of the neck a little bit there, bringing it in, going for that diamond sort of shape there. What else can we do with this here? So let's just uh, make the lips a little bit bigger as well. So the lips uh, a little bit bigger and funnier looking. And I'm going to make the uh, bottom lip there bigger as well. I've got a bit of a wiggle sort of a line on that there. I'll have to sort of clean that up in a bit. So going to do that and also what I want to do is I want to uh, make the eyes look a bit bigger as well so let's just uh, click on apply for that first of all get rid of the warp out of the way and then I'm going to go into the distort once more and I'm going to click on bump so with a the bump there what I can do with this here is I can make the eyes bigger so just tap in the middle of the eye there and press and hold down and open up the eyes a bit there to make them bigger I think I went a bit too much than that last one there so let's just bring that back a wee bit and there you go, that's a bit better, isn't it? Okay, we'll make the nose bigger as well. So make the, the nostrils flare out and bigger. Because uh, big noses are always funny, aren't they? And I'll do the same with the cheeks there as well, sort of uh, make them sort of uh, come out a little bit and do the same with the chin down at the bottom as well. So things are starting to look a bit funnier there. We've got uh, big, big Adam's apple in there as well. Okay, so let's just go into this um, other layer then and start putting some things on. We're going to have to start doing some painting. So let's go to the paint tools. We're going to go to paint and erase. Uh, I've got this finger smudge on there at the moment. But I want to go for, let's see, I'll go for the spray. And I want a soft spray. And uh, get uh, a light sort of colour on there. So get a nice light colour. And just go to the brush settings. The size is nice and small there. The opacity is not too high. Put a little bit of colour on the chin there to uh, make that to stand out and also on the uh, Adam's apple. Uh, building up there the colour and the uh, the shape there. And uh, we need a bit uh, around this sort of area here to look around the sides of the mouth, make that st stand out a bit more. And so I'm using the apple pencil with this here. 
and my uh, soft spray is a little bit too soft there and I'm going to have to go back into that and clean it up some more so let's uh, just make the colour a little bit darker I'm going to use the, um, the colour picker tool and I'm going to choose one of these colours that is uh, close to that there we'll go for that one there a bit darker than the uh, colour I was just using so in this area here what I did was to add some colours to it just to make things a little bit more three-dimensional some highlights and some shadows and making some colour changes along the way and changing the uh, tool I was using from the one brush style to the other brush style just to see what I could do with it and just play with the uh, the picture and see what I could come up with it's going a bit too dark that is there so but what I can do with this here is I can go to this here and I can sort of go to the format and I can change the alpha lock in it. I can do the style on there. I can change the blending mode. So with blending mode, maybe what I'll do is I'll just go for dark and blending mode or multiply. And then I'm going to go back to style and turn the opacity down a bit. And maybe that's I've turned it down to, down as far as 41%. Then I think that's starting to look a little bit better there now. It doesn't look quite so uh, ridiculous. Now what I want to do on this layer here is I want to go into the eyes and put a bit of colour in there because I think the colour's a bit sort of yucky looking there. So let's go choose a blue there, and uh, I've got uh, spray paints there. Let's go for uh, an ink marker, and go for broken ink. Okay, so I've got a bit of uh, colour in there. Come out a bit further away from that, so we can see it's like a bit too blue looking there, but it doesn't really matter. We can uh, adjust that. So I spent some time painting in the blue of the eyes there, and also working on the pupils. Put a bit of a glint in there, so that to have a bit of a sparkle in the eye. And I'm going to reduce the uh, opacity of it as well so it doesn't stand out quite so much. That's good. Okay, let's have another layer there. And uh, this time I'm going to go and have a work with these uh, lips here. We'll work with this medium pencil again. And we're going to change the colour. And then perhaps a little bit of highlights in there as well. Let's go for a bit of a right pinky sort of colour there. Sort of lips sort of uh, put a bit more colour around the bottom of the uh, the mouth there. Again, we're going to go with, use the, uh, the colour selection tool. Let's go for this colour here. Bit of a sort of purpley sort of colour there, isn't it? Let's come back out of that there. So let's uh, get to our spray again. So let's go for the paint and erase. We've got a medium pencil there. Let's go for the spray. And we'll go for a spray splatter. Just uh, touching this gently into this area here. Just to sort of put a bit of spray splatter in there. The retouch. Well, with the retouch, what we can do with this here, we can do a bit of softening. So I'm going to use a soften tool, and I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit here as well. So less lines, fewer lines, and same around the area of the nose there, and uh, take away some of the wrinkles around my eyes. And I think what I should do as well, I should um, tidy up the teeth a little bit there as well. So let's go right into the teeth here, and go back to this here. Paint and erase. Going to go for the uh, pencil tool. I'm going to use the medium pencil and I need to uh, select a colour and for selecting a colour I'm going to go for one well, of these colours in between the teeth here so use that colour there, click on done and now what I can do is I can just put a bit of a line in between there just to separate the teeth a little bit so we've got the teeth separated a wee bit there a bit of white to whiten them up a bit so there's our teeth that have been uh, whitened up a bit there so let's have a look and see what we've got. We'll come out of this a bit now. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to uh, copy this out so I can flatten it all up. So I'm going to do a, uh, uh, a copy to photos. So this has brought the picture back in again there, but there's just one layer. Everything's all on one single layer there. And what I want to do with this here and now is just tidy up the background a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, the retouch tools. And with this one here, we're going to try the clone tool. So let's just move this bit up here and see if I can clone this area over here. Look, let's bring this down here now. And I'm going to clone a bit of this out as well. Okay, click on done. I think I need to do something about this um, Adam's apple there. It's far too big, isn't it? So let's just uh, go into the painting tools, do some uh, paint and erase soft spray and I need to get a colour for this here let's go to the dark take that colour there so the Adam's apple doesn't stick out quite so much let's just make it a wee bit darker just to put a colour into that there 
Okay, I think this bit of chin I could uh, smooth out a bit as well. Soften this chin off a little bit there, so that looks a bit better. Let's go to the uh, distort tools and go to the warp. There you go. So I've just tidied that uh, collar up a wee bit as well. Um, oops. Now there, I just had two fingers on the screen there and applied them at the same time and <laughs> made it look totally stupid. So I'm going to do an undo on that one there. So that's how you can do a caricature image using iColorama to get things started and then moving it into Pixelmator for iPad. And now when I'm finished, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just save that to Photos. And I'm going to allow it to modify this picture. This is the one I had in there before. Click on Modify. I could have saved it off as a separate one if I wanted to, but I didn't do that this time. I just put it as a, uh, a copy over the top of a previous one there. So here we are in Photos. This is the one I just did. This is Dave Vallon for No Stylus, and I've been doing a little bit of caricature type stuff. And the caricature that we ended up with was this one here. So bye-bye now. Talk to you again soon.